Hey guys, how are you? David DeFranco here from TechSocial.com and all those awesome links below my boobage. Actually, it's below this shirt. Yes, I'm still wearing the same shirt because, well, it's the same day. This is a totally different video from my SSD upgrade, which hopefully brought you here a day or two later. Anyway, today I'm here to install OS X Lion. Yes, I put it, I, uh, yeah, I put it. I put it, no, don't go there. I put it on a bootable disk, which I will talk about in a second. But first, let's give a huge thanks out to MacFan for sponsoring this video. And right here is proof. MacFan can be found at technology-buzz.com. Don't spell it hyphen, just type it. Uh, YouTube.com slash technologybuzztv. I gotta say, that's an awesome name. And of course, Twitter.com slash techbuzzblog. I will have all of his links below the video. So yes, huge thanks to MacFan. He was very nice enough to sponsor my copy of OSN Lion from the Mac App Store. So check out his links below, and thank you again. Okay, so now let's get on to the process. How exactly did I put OS X Line on a boot disk? First of all, I gotta say, I fully support Apple's forward thinking in app distribution, software distribution, all that stuff, because I really feel like we rely on optical media less and less each year. It's, it's not even really an opinion, it's kind of a fact. We don't really use disks nearly as much. But anyway, enough with the rambling, David. Get out of here, get out of here. Let's bring in Sirius David. Oh, here we go. Hey guys, how are you? I'm kind of hyper today. I don't know what it is. I guess it's the Lion. Here is my OS X Lion boot disk. Now, let's keep it simple, stupid. I'm not calling you stupid. I'm calling me stupid because this is like my third or fourth take. KISS. K-I-S-S. Keep it simple, stupid. How do I create an OS X Lion boot disk? It's very simple. I promise. I will put a link below. Just click that link. Read it up. It literally takes a few minutes. The longest process is the burning process. Getting the disk image into disk utility literally takes like two seconds. It's the easiest thing I've done in a long time in terms of something substantial such as installing an OS on a disk. It's very simple. And yes, I titled it pound line, hashtag line, because I'm obsessed with Twitter. At twitter.com slash David DeFranco, follow me below. All right, David, I think you've bored them enough. Let's get on to the installation video. What we have here is perfectly normal. It's a blinking question mark. Again, this is in result of my installing my new SSD. Uh, which I'm assuming is running great because I don't see any huge errors. That's just blinking because they cannot find a startup disk, which is in this bag. This is technically OSN Snow Leopard in this bag. So, let's restart the Mac Pro, and I believe you hold down C to boot from disk. It used to be CD, now we use DVDs, and pretty soon we're not going to use anything. Alright, I shut down the Mac Pro. I am connecting a USB mouse because I don't believe you can open the disk tray with a Bluetooth mouse. And in case you're wondering what the hell I'm talking about, I will explain in a minute. Basically, for the new Mac users, this is a great tip. If you ever want to boot, uh, I mean, if, yeah, if you want to boot, if you ever want to eject your disk during startup, you obviously don't have access to, you know, the actual UI of OS X. So you can uh, just simply hold down the mouse button while it's booting. So let's do just that. Holding it down should open the disk tray. Put this around so it doesn't hit the cable. Hopefully that opens any second now. So I can actually put the disc in. Come on, you can do it. There you go, good boy, good boy. OS 10 pound lion is going in. And you can hold down C on your keyboard again to boot from disc. We should see something good on the screen. Hopefully. You don't typically install an OS along with a new SSD. It's usually already installed. So that's why this process is longer than usual. This is this just happens to be my first SSD ever, as well as my upgrade to OS 10 line. So it's kind of the best of both worlds, so that's why it's taking a little longer than usual. Holding down C, let's hope this works. Waiting, waiting, waiting. So while we're waiting, why don't you guys tell me a little about yourself. What's your name? What are you into? You like long walks? Oh, I screwed that up. I was going to say, do you like long walks on the beach? Oh, it's spinning. You hear that? I hear spinach. And I don't mean the food. Alright. It ejected on me. Why? Alright. Now we're in business. What I did was held down Option, 
it's usually to choose your startup deck because uh, startup yeah startup decks uh, startup desk as far as I'm aware but maybe it's different this time because I don't know well oh, I gotta use this that's right now now it's freaking hmm what is the deal All right, after much frustration, I took out the solid state, put it in bay number two, put my old startup desk back in bay number one, booted there, booted the DVD from the desktop, not booted, but opened that DVD, you know what I mean. Um, and now this seems to be working. So install Malco with Sinline. I don't know why it's not booting from it, but I just did this to preview it, agree, and agree again. Now show all disks right there. You can click that, scroll down, then SSD, that's the one I just formatted off, off camera, I didn't show it on camera. Install, type in my password. Now let's hope this works. Downloading additional components, your computer will restart automatically. Now if this doesn't work, I'll be pissed. Of course the pinwheel of freaking death, but let's hope that means it's just thinking. I don't know. We'll see. All right, my computer's restarting. It turns out that also failed, which you did not see on camera because I really didn't feel like recording it at this point. So I installed it from the dock instead of the DVD. Maybe there's something wrong with the disk. I followed the instructions. It was incredibly simple. But then again, maybe it's my optical drive because I have had issues with my optical drive in the past on this Mac Pro because my Mac Mini and my dad's Mac Mini both work perfectly fine in terms of reading optical media. Uh, so. Maybe it's finally time to replace my optical drive. <sighs> we'll see. Anyway, it's rebooting. I told it to install on, install on the SSD again, which you did not see on camera. I just had to repeat the process. This should not be this difficult. But then again, it might not be even Apple's fault. It might be my optical drive's fault. So, Because I have seen multiple people on Twitter tell me word for word, a boot DVD works perfectly fine, which I believe them because it's a very basic thing. I've, I've installed OS X from DVDs multiple times. This should be no different. Uh, so again, maybe there's something wrong with my drive. I don't know. All I know is it seems to be working on the SSD, and then I just need to tell OS X that my freaking Apple logo is over there. What's going on? I'm just kidding. That's okay. That's easily switchable. Okay, installing. I guess I should change the uh, angle. And there you have it, installing, 19 minutes remaining. Doesn't sound that bad. Oh, by the way, before, when it said an hour and 20 minutes, that was before I switched it to the dock installation file and not the DVD. And it, that part literally only took three minutes versus an hour and 20 minutes. So I don't know what the deal with that was. But anyway, let's just wait until this is done. Well, obviously I'm not gonna make you guys watch, but I'll see you in a second, thanks to Final Cut Cut. Is that getting old yet? We're almost there. Only 10 minutes to go. But, nine, okay, nine minutes now. But guys, I gotta mention real quick, you know me, I am a graphic designer. I love good graphics, a good UI. This is beautiful, look at this. Aqua is now much, well, lighter, more natural looking. That is a hot progress bar. While we're waiting now, why don't we do a few shout outs on Twitter. Um, Shout out to Sergeant Man 2006 you're always in my streams. He says, holy shit, the new login screen for Lion is amazing. Uh, actually, I've seen screenshots, I think, on 9 to 5 Mac or Mac Rumors, and I gotta agree, it does, it does look very nice, very clean. Uh, shout out to Danny Exceltia, he says, dude, have you ever thought about a Drobo? I actually have thought about getting a Drobo, uh, maybe one day, when I have more money. Uh, but if Drobo, if you're listening, I'll gladly review one, just saying. Next up is PJ Hamill. He is actually a mod over at my uh, live stream at ddfranco.com slash live or textfisher.com slash live. And he says, out of all YouTubers, I look forward to your Lion review the most. The longer the better, winky face. I don't know what that winky face means. The longer the better. PJ, starting to wonder. Nah, I'm just kidding, dude. Uh, I Dicky, shout out to you. What up, yo? Not too gangster. He says, I'm expecting a shout out, please. There you go, I dick. You got your shout out. Now shut up. No, I'm kidding. 
And, of course, shout out to Ross Jameson. He's a cool guy. Um, he says, I'm so desperate to complete this level. I would actually post my iPad to you just to complete it. He's talking about Angry Birds. Uh, Tech Views says, Hi, David. David. Yeah, David. The quality of your Bulls video is amazing with your camera. Even in bad light, it looks good. Pound Panasonic. Yes, uh, shout out to Panasonic for making excellent camcorders. I'm actually using one right now, for those wondering. It is the Panasonic HTC SD 600K. We're almost done. And the reason the video looked so good in low light was because I used Final Cut Pro 10, which I love. You guys know I love Final Cut Pro 10. And now it says less than a minute, so I guess that's it for the Twitter shoutouts. As you can see, I'm just trying to kill time.